हेलो गाइस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स व्हिच आर जनरली एनकाउंटर्ड इन द प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो द फर्स्ट टर्म इज टोटीपोटेंसी सो टोटीपोटेंसी इट इज द यू कैन से इट इज एबिलिटी ऑफ द प्लांट सेल टू डेवलप इनटू कंप्लीट प्लांट मींस इन केस ऑफ प्लांट्स द सिंगल सेल हैज द पावर टू डेवलप इनटू कंप्लीट प्लांट इफ it get the proper conditions so that power is known as the totipotency and this term was given by the j haberland plasticity so it is you can say it is the power of plant cells to modify according to the environment means they can modify their metabolism as well as growth pattern and development according to the environment which best suit to them so that power so to alter their metabolism or to change their metabolism and growth according to environment is known as plasticity competency is the power or you can say potential of cells to differentiate into a particular organ it is known as the competency the next term is callus so callus is the unorganized mass of cells and it is also the undifferentiated mass of the cell so generally the unorganized and undifferentiated mass of the actively dividing cells is known as the callus and it is you can say very much important term because in the plant tissue culture generally the complete plant can be produced either directly or from this callus so the starting you can say starting phase of a complete plant may be callus so this callus it has highly dividing cell but it is in the unorganized and undifferentiated state the next term is differentiation or you can say the differentiated so when the cells is fully differentiated into the final stage of its development means after that stage it will not changed into any another form so that cell is known as fully differentiated because it is now changed into that stage after that it will not change into any kind of you can say cell or tissue or organ so that is known as different she uh, differentiated cells means a fully developed cell de differentiation so it is a process in which the completely developed plant you can say completely developed or mature cells they are changed or they are returned to their juvenile stage or metastatic dividing stage this is this is known as the de differentiation re differentiation so here as the name re differentiation so it is a capacity of de differentiated cells means the cells which was earlier de differentiated from the differentiated state now they can again change into new organ or new plant so that state is known as a re differentiation the next term is in vitro so the in vitro it is taken from the latin word which means vitreous so in vitro means just to grow into this glass means just to grow something inside the glass material so in vitro here we just propagate or you can say we culture our plant inside the glass material like petri plate vessels or test tubes under aseptic and controlled condition so this is known as the in vitro condition means the outside of the body this is known as the in vitro condition in vivo it is to grow you can say in the natural conditions so in vivo the next term is passaging or subculture so when the cultured organ or plant it is transferred to another vessel which contain the fresh medium so that process is known as the subculture why subculture is done because after some time the nutrient of the medium they start get decreasing or depleted so or you can say there may also be production of some toxic substances due to the metabolism of this you can say plant cells so after some time there is a requirement that these plant cells they should be transferred into the fresh medium so that process is known as the subculturing and sometime it also known as passaging but generally in case of animal cell it is known as passaging the next term is a soma clonal variation so as the name indicates soma clonal so these are the variations or changes which are due to the you can say plant tissue culture or generally you can also say these are the variation which are shown by the plants which are produced by the plant tissue culture so there is that variation these are known as soma clonal 
वेरिएशन द नेक्स्ट शूट एपिकल मेरिस्टेम सो शूट एपिकल मेरिस्टेम इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द शूट टिप इट इज जनरली यू कैन से लोकेटेड विद इन द शूट टिप एंड इट इज दैट पार्ट विच इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग द वायरस फ्री प्लांट द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज ऑर्गेनोजिनेसिस हेयर अगेन द नेम इंडिकेट ऑर्गन प्लस जेनेसिस so organ means any organ and genesis means formation so it is the formation of organ is known as organogenesis in case of the plant tissue culture we generally form our organs from the ex plant like, like we uh, we develop root shoot leaf etc from the ex plant so that's why it is known as the organogenesis because organs are forming there the next somatic embryogenesis so again look into the name embryo means embryo genesis means formation and somatic means somatic cells so it is the formation of embryo from the somatic cell in the tissue culture so this is known as the somatic embryogenesis means formation of embryo from somatic cell by using the plant tissue culture technique next androgenesis so andro here stand for the uh, some uh, you can say there some male character genesis means formation or development so it is the development development or the formation of मेल प्लांट और यू कैन से फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्लांट फ्रॉम द मेल गैमिटो फाइट इज नोन एज दिनेसिस साइब्रिड्स सो दीज आर दाइब्रिड्स ऑफ साइटोप्लाज मीन इन दैम इन यू कैन से इन साइब्रिड्स न्यूक्लियस ऑफ वन प्लांट इज देयर बट इट कंटेन द साइटोप्लाज्म ऑफ बोथ प्लांट मीन इन दिस केस वेन द टू प्लांट दे आर मिक्स टूगेदर बट द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ वन पेरेंट प्लांट हैज बीन एलिमिनेटेड और रिमूवड so there will be hybridization of only one parent which contain the nucleus while other parent parent whose nucleus has been removed so after their fusion there will be formation of a new hybrid which is known as cybrid why because it contain the nucleus of only one parent because other nucleus was removed but it contain the cytoplasm of the both parents so that's why known as the cybrids the next ti plasmid ti means tumor inducing plasmid so it is a plasmid which is responsible for causing the crown gall disease in the plants and it is present in the agrobacterium tumefaciens this ti plasmid is also used for the agrobacterium mediated transformation in the plant tissue culture the next term is vitrification so in the plant tissue culture sometime there you can say uh, there is a appearance of some brittleness or Uh, you can say glassy appearance will be there so this glassy appearance is known as the vitrifications so these were some uh, important terms which are generally encountered in the plant tissue culture so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much